a whole a whole trailer full of hard pack I think it probably weighs oh I don't know a few hundred pounds and I have to pull it uphill just a little bit huh. by myself without the goats getting out of the gate but I got it done so now I got it to here I can go get the ATV and pull it the rest of the way So what exactly is hard pack? Hard pack is that stuff that's in your barn, it's packed down on the ground, and you gotta go in and clean it out every now and then. And uh, I didn't really get a chance to do this last year in the fall like I normally do because cancer treatment, I wasn't gonna ask my parents who are in their 70s to do it. So I usually do it twice a year, spring and fall and uh this is basically a year of packed down straw so basically what i do is i use a pitchfork to like a shovel, stomp it down, and then you break it up and load it into a cart, which I then take up to the compost pile. A lot of people will say that you can use it in your garden right away. It's got a lot of goat urine and goat poop, but I always let it age for about a year, so, and I get a lot of compost this way. A whole lot of compost, matter of fact. So, uh, it's really too dark in the barn to have you watch me work, but uh, I might figure out a way to do it. There's no way. Yeah, even if I clip it on the outside, there's just no way you're going to be able to see it. So, take my word for it. Not that bad. Use a pitchfork, step on it like a shovel, break it loose, shove it in the cart. Oh, I'm getting there. There's a mistake I made a long time ago. Let me tell you what that is. That's a household floor vent. We stuck in here because our hearts were in giving the pets 
technically livestock, but we kind of treated them as pets in, initially. When they were babies, given the pets or livestock the best home possible. So we stuck a floor vent in here so there would be air circulation to help dry out all this urine and feces and everything. And, well, that was just a waste of time and a waste of money. Um, you treat them as livestock. They actually prefer this hard pack. The bad thing about it is it's a wooden floor, so I've got to clean this out. You know, usually twice a year, but like I said, I just never got around to it last fall because of the cancer treatment, and I couldn't. I just didn't want to ask my parents, who are, you know, both in their 70s, to be out here shoveling this out. So it's a lot thicker, and it's taking me longer to clean it up than it normally does. But you got to look at this. Every bit of this turns into compost. And I didn't record all the carts, but I've probably taken four or five cartloads of this out already. And basically, I drag it out by hand, then I use the ATV to drag it up to my compost piles. And I still have an area right there where the cart's sitting that's not been done. And another thing I need to do was, you know, when I first built this, I had Nigerian dwarf goats. So I put this hay feeder relatively low to the ground and of course even baby Nigerian dwarfs can still get to that hay. So I need to raise this up because a lot of hay gets wasted. Um, and I'm going to raise it up to where the bottom of this is just about the height that the goats can get to it and then that way they're not trying to uh, eat it out of the top and the goats, baby goats are getting there and laying there and they poop and pee in it. and So I just need to make it a little bit better there. Um, I know I probably got at least in this right here, you probably can't tell the perspective. But I probably have at least two more loads on this end. And two or three loads on this end. I'll finally have this done. And it's about noon now. And I got to get this done and plus go pick up a load of straw before 6 p.m. So let me get back to work. Um, again, this is hard pack. This is where a technique where you put hay down or straw. And every few days you put just a little bit more down. It keeps the straw fresh. But, you know, they're peeing in it. They're pooping in it. And over time, it starts to decay and basically turn into compost right inside the building. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you is inside of here, even though this has been pretty good all the way around the top, you know, it's got a metal roof. I left, you know, a 2 by 4 gap across there to make it uh, plus you got the thickness of... Um, everything there's about a four inch gap all the way around this ceiling so there's a lot of circulation in here but man that urine smell pretty pretty bad so uh anyways let me get this done i'll bring you back if something else comes up important i can think of i recorded when i cleaned out the goat barn and i'll go ahead and show you um, probably a ton or better of straw and goat poop and stuff that I got out of the goat barn. But that's a job that normally takes me about four to six hours. And I think it took me like three days.